piston, break two pistons, break the one piston, break, nope, we're doing it wrong. Okay, we have to make sure which side has it. So that for first, put one piston, it's had to go up facing the right. To the right, to, to the right of it, we're going to have it facing up. To the right of it, put a piston. Then, put a block next to it and a block above it. Then, we're going to continue this until we have six pistons. So we have four, five, six, pass, boom, and block. Okay, make sure it's even. There you go, now you have this. You can do this here. We're gonna go to the back and we're going to run we're going to get our safety pistons and then we're going to put it facing towards it so then we will be able to so then we can put a block here put two put two um what are they what are they called uh, rep repeaters And just hit the one in front of the piston to four. Then you want to get your best one and put three of them right there. So then you want to repeat this over and over and over. So what we want to do here, we want to put one, two, three, four, four blocks. We have one, two, three, four blocks, and then five around. And then put two at the very end. And here, four blocks. Wrap it around with five and then two blocks at the very end. We're gonna get our sticky pistons and put it there and put it there. This one's very simple and plus it's very fast. It may not be a hundred percent working depending on what version or a database that you're on, but um I think for PC and Pocket Edition, it should very well guarantee work. That's, but that's just what you said. Because I, uh, I've tried other elevators like those. Like I've tried to make, like I've tried other ones through tutorials. This one's just the old version. Like it's not, it's it's old version, but it works real surprisingly well for being that old. <coughs> so. And we, we're repetitively doing this, you see. And it's gonna keep doing it over and over and over and over. Whoa, whoa, whew. Okay, I'm gonna put a block. Wait a minute. And I'm making sure I'm putting a block here. Okay, make sure you're getting everything right because sometimes you can really mess it up and it's hard to realize what you're doing. Like what you're doing actually wrong. Oops. Bam, bam, bam. There. Okay. So now I have these. Just want to stoop. Oops. The block and stick it right there. And there you go. Okay, we are done with the hardest part of the tutorial. Congratulations, you made it. So now we're just going to stick these here. The rest of it is just a bunch of little tiny things. It's not even close to being um, difficult. It's not even close to being the most mild version of hard. Okay, so I just ran... Um, these things facing the same direction as the other ones, so it's facing towards you if you're standing right here. So that it just looks something like that. See? There. So we have these. Now, I'm just gonna go take a look at this one so that you can start with the tutorial. Okay. We can keep on going with our tutorial. Alright, right here. We want to get our own stick one piece here and one piece there. Then we want to dig a block. Up. To 
so here, and we want to put a block up here. We want to put redstone all along this, and then we're gonna put a lever there. Then we want to dig one block in, and another block in, and put a repeater there. Then we want to dig here, dig here. these two right here and then we want to put another one hit the repeater right there leave them all at one tick bam so now when we hit a lever we should have those two pop those two popping out now why aren't they triggering they should be triggering right we got we all we got to do is run a block up so it covers up the repeaters and that's what we're, that's what makes them whenever they come out the trigger but usually it's with the button, so watch. See, it'll push out, put you up, put, go back in. Push you up, and that's what makes it fast. So that's step one down. And then, now we've got one last step to do. Oh, actually, yeah. You just gotta do these. Gotta get your wood. Or your, your decorative other blocks. Put two. And then put two. So it looks like that. And then you're going to run redstone down. And the way you know you're doing this right is that it'll go one step down. Try it down. One step down. And you want to get your redstone repeater here. And see what's repeater. Hit it at one tick. Stick like redstone repeater. Hit it at one tick. And then... Gotta get that. Put a button there. Not there. We don't. What? Bam! So now we got all that triggered. How is that? And then we want to do. So we want to put one block, one, two blocks, one, two more blocks. You don't have to though. There. You see? You see? You see? And then I want to get these. Okay. So now I should have them all put out and triggered. Break it. Put a block of wood on top. Place a button. And then we want to go into our inventory and grab some glass. And we want to go outside of it. And just put, build two blocks up. Put two blocks up, put one, and then fill it up to here. Then we will have, then we have our own little elevator here. So then, you can just get into the middle of it. Hit the button. The top, and you can walk to the floor. And then, you can put another one, like across the hall maybe. Going up to the second floor, then another one going that's up to here. To that one, and you can do it alternatively. But if you connect it to let's just like go all the way from here up, that it will all go in one thing, it'll take you straight up. So you should probably separate if you want to go up floors. But see, so that's basically it. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Please leave a like, please subscribe, and please comment. Sorry. Network. And if you're doing some survival and you have some spare slimes, slime balls, you, or you could just transfer to creative real fast, you could grab a slime block and put it there so that it'll be safer to come down, so there's a, there's a safe way to come down. But if you're in creative, it really doesn't matter. Um... But that's just for making us safe, because whenever you're jumping, you're just bouncing for a while. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Oh, you want to know a cool fact? If you're jumping off of a hill, or like on a slope, and then there is like, so watch, watch right here. Okay. Boom. See how it, there was a bunch of stuff coming out? If you don't see that, you're not going to take damage from the fall. See, I didn't see it. I usually want to take damage from that fall. If you're in survival... And you jump down and you see stuff, you'll you'll take damage. But watch, if you're bouncing, you take damage. 
take damage. No damage. No damage. No damage. No damage. Okay. So that that's a cool fact for just like if you're trying not to fall. Um. Thanks for watching on another video for Love Bucket Dude's channel, and I really want you to. I really want to hear what you think of my videos, and I really like subscribers. Thank you, and um, yeah. There are other better, maybe better videos too. But thanks for watching.